Silent Hill 3 is rated M by the SRB. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so that's it. Unfortunately, there is bad guys now. Oh, jeez. I am still good. Okay. Let's reload in here. I think that's... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you want to... Let's, let, let's do it, buddy. Um, let's... Let's see this, actually. Take that. Actually, a stun gun is good on them. Holy cow, I never thought the stun gun would actually be... Uh, let us go with a health drink. Let's get out of the red. And I am not doing easy. Actually, yeah, we'll keep the stun gun. I think I'm going to be running into more of them. All right, let's take a look. We are going back. Now, the only thing is that I'm going to be... I have to... Oh, good lord. The music. I think there's a door here. Yeah, there's a door. Well, can't go in that door. Or even try to attempt to go in that door. Nope. 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 Not yet. And yes, okay. The question is, do I want to take on those pendulums or not? And the answer is a big hell no. So I'm going to be doing running. I think there's a missionary or um, a scraper in the room also. And seeing that I'm actually going to be running, let's run. Hello. Hello. Move. Yep, we're going to move, 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 move. Controller, you're not helping. Um, let's do that so I can at least stay healthy for a bit. Okay, there's a door. And I believe that door leads to... Actually, I think I have to go in that door. Ugh, I don't want to go in that door. We're going to run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. We're not dealing with the closers. Nope. Yeah, I hear those closers actually... Hello? Oh, here we go. I'm like, I know I hear footsteps. I'm crying. Okay. Hmm. Let's not go in there right now. Just for a moment. Let's go check down here. Because we have our good old pal, Valtial. And apparently he's looking up girls' skirts. Valtial, I didn't know you were such a perv. Yeah. Anyway. Let's go in here. I believe there's only one door. Yep, there's only one door. So let's go in here. Well, this is a familiar room. With barking, apparently. And it is actually Alessa's... Old Alessa, 
previous love sus uh, sick room. And there's even a picture of her right there. A picture of when I was seven. I look bored and sad. Of course I do. That's the way I was back then. Alright. Let's go here. There's something stuck in the book. We got the Fool Tarot card. This book. Hmm. Feels that I've read it before, but at the same time, I don't want to. Agophilus. Red locust or crystals resembling blood. According to Kabbalah, the name was taken from a herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in the Arabian deserts. It may be vaporized or applied as a poultice to guard against demons. It is powerful, but that it is rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. Okay. That's actually the red stuff that's in the first one that good old Kaufman was, I guess, stashing. You got some ampode there. Do you have something to say about the bed or no? There? No? Bed? Bed? 24 year ago, uh, Dahlia used to be the summon God. God was, God was in my womb, but I could deliver. Then I was shut up in this hospital room. I stayed here until Dad helped me out when I was 14. God ate away with me, driving me mad at the suffering. There I was, wishing I could die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this, it just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to remember them because I'm not a less anymore. But Alessa is still in me, and I'm not trying to deny it or anything. Well, that's kind of a good monologue. It's a bit here, but uh, not my style at all. Cool. All right. We got ourselves some company. I swear, these guys need to just, you know, take off to the Great White North. <laughs> Come on, I know you're there. I know you're there. I'm not coming out until you come, come to me. Oh, you son of a... Seriously. Really? Really? All right, let's just... Oh, okay, they're insane cancers, okay. There's two of them? Okay, well, I'm not going to go with that guy. I don't need to go that way. And I'm just going to run by this guy because I don't need to fight him anymore, and no whammies. Oh, snap, okay. Let's run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Yeah, I hear those uh, closers that have, like the blackness going around them could, like, kill you instantly. Valtiel, is that you? Are you torturing that nurse? Well, you do you. You do you, buddy. Alright, is there a door around here? And someone is sneezing. I wish someone would, you know, blow, blow their nose. <laughs> Okay, so we're here again. <laughs> it is Alessa's room. We have ourselves a save point, which we are going to use, but I'm going to look around the room first. There are playing cards on the floor. We used to play a lot. I remember of little Claudia always having a hard time winning. I made her cry. Is this some kind of landscape? Where is this from again? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Nothing to say about the bed? Nope. Now that book, we're not going to actually read right now. Scribbling on the floor is Alessa's. 
for some reason, she always drew monsters like this when she was alone. She used to draw with Claudia, too. A nice daddy and mommy at the fun school. A happy world where everyone smiled and laughed all day long. In short, everything we never had. And a door. Closet. It's meaningless to me. Oh. No time to wax and soldier over my old clothes. Like this. My old clothes when I was seven. They don't fit me now. Good thing, too. And we're going to look at this. Ooh, metal pad. Something appears inside. She's just beyond that door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense a presence from something extremely dangerous, even sickening. Or maybe it's what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough of this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not. But I fully intend to save her. No. Them. The last entry was 17 years ago. It looks like Dad wrote this too. Yep, it's the last save point we had in the Silent Hill 1. And we're going to grab this key. The brass key. And guess where we have to go? Oh my god. We have to go all the way back to the beginning. Oh my god. Painful. Oh my god, this is going to be painful. Okay, we're going to save, definitely. I... No, it wasn't me. Alyssa wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It was the one bit of a chapel... But some other altars. So. Words. <laughs> Words. All right, let's. We're definitely saving because on the way back, I have a high chance of actually dying. And I don't like dying. No whammies. Oh, yeah, here we go. Thanks, camera, for being in the way. I don't really. Okay, can we change. There we go. Okay, I thought... Oh, it's just Veltiello, okay. Did I go in here? I did not. Okay, I can't go in there anyway. I thought there was another room somewhere. Am I missing a room? Nothing down there. No, nothing here. I got them all here, okay. I thought there was a scraper here. All right. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore you. Well, I'll try to ignore you. I would say silence is golden, but unfortunately that creepy ass music is not helping. Let's go up. We literally got to go back almost to, like, the chapel area. Not fun. Let's just say on the way it's going to be painful. Is that you, Veltio? Thing is, you can see sometimes... There he is. Or someone. It might be Veltio, I'm not too sure. But, um... He's no concern. Where are we going? Not that way, but we're going the other way. This way. I do have to say I am slow. Are you dead? Why aren't you disappeared? You're not dead, aren't you? Oh my god, you're playing dead. Like those blasted slurpers, I swear. You better not come alive. No, he's not coming alive. Okay. I am good. Yeah. Y y you see that? Y you see that in the other room? It's 
stories. Oh my god, stories. Let's let's just go in here, not look, and just run. Run, 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 run. Let's not deal with that room. God, let's not deal with this room either. Just just look at this room. Look at it. Look at it. I'm just gonna just look at it. Oh my god. Like I'm actually really tempted to just wait in this until this is all blood. But I wanna actually do the game, so we're gonna go in here. I might show it on a bonus video or something, but right now I do not want to. Oh god, no! Where are you? It's insane cancers, aren't they? Feltiel, I'm gonna kill you, I swear! Okay, we got an insane cancer, which we don't really need to even do. Oh god. We're in Midwich Elementary School with a single lone desk. Guess who it is? It's the same one. Go home. Drop dead. Thief. This used to be a lesson. I mean, my desk once upon a time. Very, uh, it's also in Silent Hill 1 also. What are you looking at, Heather? You are looking at the book. There's a ratty old notebook on the podium. Whoops. There's a letter stuck in here, too. Let's see. There is a girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She is the one I said they called a witch. Most likely, her mother is abusing her. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrapes or bruises. Her expression is pitifully dark for a six-year-old. Something like this may not be so uncommon. Rather than coming up with pointless ideas, it may be best just to watch and wait. But isn't there something I can do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer, but I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I would ask you, my friend, for your opinion first. Kay Gordon. Hey, it's Kay Gordon. We got your key and busted in your house in the first one. Hey, there's the dog wolf. Yay. Okay, if we go out here, we should be bes beside on the other side of that insane cancer. So that's good. 